This mother's son died from AIDS. She never accepted her son while, she was while he was alive. And she wants to know what happened to her son's partner. She was unable to move on with her life. She lives in Dallas. She's never been able to accept the loss of her son or mourn, mourn his loss properly. But she's never been able to bury his memory and has lived with the lingering question, what happened to Cal? What happened to my son's partner? Who I I just wasn't able to embrace it. So uh, for me, Mothers and Sons uh, was an exploration of how I could never imagine not supporting my children. And this woman didn't even come to her son's bedside. And I had never, ever uh, met people like that until the AIDS crisis. Um, this year we had Tom Curtehy and uh, Cheryl Collar, who were professionals producers and, and director. When I saw Mothers and Sons for the first time, it definitely came at a time when I needed it, because I think that the piece itself really does explore the fact that no matter what society at the time is telling you, only you can be responsible for what's going on here, and that there are opportunities for you to be happy. And I think to affect change, it's important for us as artists and as producers to not judge these people, to really, really create them and to um, enlighten them as three-dimensional characters who we understand and who we love. When I left Mothers and Sons, I was, I had a lot of questions and I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to get out there. So when she came to the conference, Cheryl Collar, you know, I stopped her and I said, you know, everyone has those pieces of theater that really hit them and this was definitely mine. And you know, I just, having the opportunity to talk with someone who I respected so much and who moved me so much and to get that closure as, I, mean, I had so many questions and she just answered all of them. I mean, you can't get that anywhere else. I mean, that's just amazing that Mrs. Pingus was able to do something like that. You know, I mean, I think the best theater that I've ever seen is that theater that when you walk out of the theater, you're standing around and talking about it. You know, so any pieces that I've ever seen doesn't leave your head when you go out for dinner after. The conversation continues and continues and it, and it changes, it makes you think about your own point of, points of view um, and others, other points of view. Say yes, if you say yes about yourself, everyone else will figure it out eventually, they really will.